Hyundai Accent 2019. So for the front doors, you're going to have to pop that little tab. Underneath is that Phillips screw. Remove that. Also, that's located in that little handle if you're curious. Then you're going to want to move down to this part of your door where that little notch is. Stick a pry tool in there. Press up. And you can hear how it popped. You want to basically move all the way around the door and do that. Watch out for your speakers. And do that all the way up. You'll want to pop this little guy out too. So just wedge something in there and just like that. So now to remove this, you just pull out on it and up. And then you'll have wires connected. Just press in and unplug. And then you'll have to take out like four or five screws right there to get the handle out. By the way, it's six screws and you'll uh, be left with this. Back doors are a little bit different. You have two tabs to pop, that one and the handle, and that one down there. And then you'll have to pop the tabs. You're probably gonna break these two, but it's not a big deal because it doesn't do much. Um, but you'll probably end up breaking those because I think you either slide down this way or down that way to get them out correctly. But I would broke both of mine. So just do that, you'll get your back panel off. And also remove that same way as the front main difference is there's no screws holding this on so this little thing will just pop right out so the back doors are actually easier than the front just to let you know that's what you're left with panels are right there right, guys now that you got your speakers exposed you're gonna go ahead and pop this cover off it's a bitch you're gonna need some of these and at least that metal one there um, but you'll start the easiest way to do this is to start up top right here Start in the center, pop, 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 pop around this way. It's gonna be tight to get it in there, just be careful. Around this way, stop about right there, and then wedge in here. This is the hardest part right here, it gets rigid. So you wanna make sure you get this little corner out, and then this up to here, and then pry down just a little bit to about right there. Your steering wheel's gonna get in the way, so drop it down. And then you'll find that you'll be able to get it in here eventually and just pop out and then the rest of it will come out just like this. Once that's out, and you've got four screws, two, and two. And then in the bottom where these knobs are, pop it out. And then same thing on the other side. So we got speaker wire, communication wire all exposed now. Um, they do give you extra in there, so that's nice. I found the speaker wires. I've seen the ones that come from the door. So I'm pretty sure that these eight right here on this corner, all these are your speaker wires. So I got my wire leads connected to these wires. I kind of stripped them back just a little bit. What I believe is positive is brown, negative is white. And now you know that that speaker wire is for the left front. Now, while your wires are hooked up like that, you know that goes to your left speaker, but you want to check polarity now. Alright guys, here we go. This is going to be the front right. I believe the black is positive and the yellow is negative. That's this speaker. Again here we got rear right speakers, green should be positive and orange should be negative. The last one which is uh, rear left. But if you're looking at the back of the plug, on the right are all the positives. That's what it looks like to me. And then on your left side next to that is all your negatives. So I got my oscilloscope out, the $28. I got connected my leads from this to there. You can see it's clean at 40, 41, 42, 43, starts to clip. 43, 44, 
45, we're clipping like fuck. We're at max volume. Five down, two down. I could actually do 42, but just to be safe. We're gonna stick with 40, guys. We got a clean signal at 40. Extremely clean. I don't think I'm ever gonna turn the volume up higher than probably frick there at the most somewhere around yeah, there. that all done i tested taped all that back up those are the old speaker wires those are going to be the new terminals coming out of the head unit and then 12 volt constant and ground so I'll wire this up now all right so we got everything connected i gotta put a fuse on there like a little three amp or something like that all right guys got the oscilloscope set up uh, we got this powered up. You can see the blue light. We got my head unit set to 40. But we're going to be safe and give ourselves a little headroom with 40. And that's cranked, guys. That's all the way. My gain, that gain is maxed on here. And I don't have any, any clipping. So 40 with max is fine. I got to make sure I tell my wife who drives this car to not go above 40. I mean, she's got 41 or 42, but I'm going to tell her 40. <laughs> That's how you'll do that, guys, to make sure you're not clipping. There's going to be four 14 millimeter bolts. One, two, three, four. Then you got to undo these clips. And then this is where I'm mounting my amp. So this is where we're going with it. We're going to bring that power wire around here somewhere. All right, here we go with this. So you're going to start with this 10 millimeter bolt right here. And then inside this little tray right here you're gonna pull that out and then you'll get you will have two little holes right here like that and you shove a screwdriver in there and pop them up and it'll separate these two pieces these are the ones that connect together right there and then you'll pop this up out and then you'll expose two Phillips screws one right there one right there that screw to the gear shifting assembly and then when you pop this out like that, you'll expose two 10 millimeter bolts right there. And then you can tell this thing is, is ready to come out. So just so you know. So now that you have your whole ass uh, 2019 ripped apart, <laughs> you can uh, do whatever you got to do in here. Run your speaker wire, run your power wires. All right, so I came through that grommet. I wrapped around here, made sure the brake pedal ain't gonna press into the wire, which is not close at all. You can see the distance between it, it should be good. And then you can see what I did there. I double strapped it behind the gas pedal. Gas pedal won't hit. Wrapped it around here, strapped to this plastic piece, but don't put it in the hole because you'll have to put the plug back in for this panel. And then I brought it right across these wires here I tested taped it and then ran it down through where this vent goes right here I think that's the floor vent uh, and then yeah it'll come out and tie into that junction box right there all this thing is screwed down now it ain't going nowhere they got a ground right here I might use that it seems pretty decent and then I'll just route this ground wire up through here also to there so ran my RCAs here bundled them up on this side of uh, away from the power cable and they're crossing but not touching so it should be okay ran that tied it there tied it there so it doesn't slip on that nice and tight there and then ran it across and under the e-brake and then through that carpet right there cut a hole and that's where everything jacks together and then I ran my remote wire around this through that little carpet piece around there left myself a little extra and then put a crimp and heat shrink on there and it'll tie into the remote right here all right That's my grounding point, sanded it down really good. It wasn't sanded before, so I went ahead and did that, ran that next to the power and to the block. 
everything's nice and secure yeah back again with day two so if you haven't already or wires to your speakers and your doors you're gonna want to go ahead and just remove all these and uh, just pull them out like that set them to the side reason being is you're gonna need to take this trim off right here this piece uh, probably not this one unless you're going to the back of the car with your with your amp which that's another option instead of doing it how I did under the seat you could run your wire power wire back through here and back to the trunk but this is the way I'm doing it so uh, I'm gonna take these panels off and then start running the speaker wire up through the doors Got a slot in the carpet those are gonna be going to the right side and those will be going over here to the left side set it up through there other wire comes back up through here and then if you can see I don't know if you'll be able to see but in the top of that plug there we go so in the top of that plug there's a gap in between the frame and the plug I just fed it through there and then brought it through fished it down through the grommet you can see that worked out pretty damn good so back door is pretty straightforward then i took the old speaker wires and just tied them up there for later on if somebody needs them but yeah i got this wire through speakers about to go back in and we're getting moving i crimped and put some heat shrink on my wire terminals you're either going to try to drill out something in this plug i wouldn't do that honestly i wouldn't i wouldn't do that not in this one they have pins in every one and you can see there's not much room in this so what i did is i took it out and then i Let's see if i can get up in here so this is the slot where that actually goes up into for the door but i'm going in there with that i can't i can't get my phone in there to show you guys where the hole's at but when you get your wire up in there there's like a little slot right back behind it if there's a hole right down below it and that there's like a little pop-out grommet you could drill a hole in that and then just basically pop a hole through this rubber right here and then you got your speaker wire in your door it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing guys look at there I'm glad they put that there because I'd be fucked but yeah that's what I did so you can see that plug goes back in there fine and it just kind of wraps up around there's a little slot back there that feeds down into this hole right there it's a little bit of a bitch to get your hand in there uh, now I'm gonna track this into the door and finish this off I'm gonna poke poke a hole right through the bottom of this just be careful not to hit your wires I had to split the wires and I went through this little bottom of the grommet right there split my wires it's kind of hard man to get in there and do this so um, just keep that in mind you're gonna need small hands or at least they can't be gigantic if you're big the big show or something <laughs> you might have some difficulties there's a little quick shot of what it looks like when it's done so now that I got my wires running from my on my left side of the car, front and back, I'm going to go ahead and do a tone test to make sure the wires are connected good and everything. Rear left. Alright, front left. Now you could probably put your trim stuff back on because you know your speakers are working. Alright, you can see how I snaked these over from there to the floor. Got some test tape blocking that. I don't. I don't. Know, I'll probably put some electrical tape on there or something. But ran it down into there, and then right up into there. One goes to the back. One goes to the front. Hook up. Hook up. We'll be good. I figured I'd try to show you how I'm getting this in there. So, feed it into the bottom side of the plug. There's a gap there. And then stick your finger in this outside hole. 
and you'll have to grab the wire. It's not, you're not gonna be able to grab it. What you'll have to do is you'll have to push the wire up against your finger. Meditate while you do this because it's aggravating. You can see uh, how much of a bitch this is. Got it. All right. So, you can see how I did that. I'm pulling it through. Got it out the hole here. Well, bam. There you go, baby. And we ain't gonna mess with your plugs. Top tip there for you. <laughs> One more thing, if you didn't know, you want to get some spade connectors, like a kit that has like a large, medium, and small, because a lot of your speakers have the small one for ground, bigger one for power, as you can see on mine. So just make sure you get a handful of those. All right, just got that done. We're gonna go ahead and generate the last two tones. Make sure the speaker wires are gonna be working good. This one is gonna be the front right. Good to go. Good go. Rear rights. That's all the speaker wires run. Then when you start putting everything back together, like that side, since the speakers are all done, wires all done, go ahead and vacuum. Helps getting all those nooks and crannies that you can't really reach. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I put a little bend action on this foot duct down here, just over the top. I don't know, if the heat's on, it'll probably heat up the amp, so. We'll see, I don't know. We'll see if the seat even works like that. If not, I'll just take the thing out, I guess. I went to uh, Walmart and got one of these uh, ATC fuse holders, and I'm, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go up to my LOC and just drop a fuse right down to here somewhere. Got that built up. Basically there, strap tied it with a zip tie, and it's just kinda chilling there, you won't be able to see it when you're driving or anything it's got a five amper in there yep all right guys we're in the engine bed here this is what i chose to do i know this is my air box but whatever honestly two little tiny holes isn't going to do anything you got that connected there and then i shaved that out carved it out so it closes right on it nice and clean i routed this underneath the ground back there and then down into there, so it's it's secure. And crimp the connections, put uh, heat shrink on there. So yeah, we're good to go. Got power. We got the oscilloscope hooked up, and we're about to set these gains. 1,000 hertz. So the clip light came on whenever I went up about another, I don't know, eighth or sixteenth of a turn. So I backed it off just a little bit, and that's what it looks like. Um, both channels are set. LOC's working good. Powered down, it took about two, two to three minutes. Uh, I set my gains, so I'm gonna hook up some speaker wires. All right, so there's what it looks like. All finished up. Nice and clean. Before I put my seat back in, we're gonna test it out, make sure it sounds good. But yeah, can't even tell, baby. All right, I'm in the cockpit. First startup test, y'all are gonna hear it with me. Let's hear it. The good old days. 
St. Louis brought the world gooey butter cake. Now Bluebell brings us gooey butter cake ice cream. A cake batter ice cream with a luscious cream cheese swirl and gooey Let's wait for his song to come on. Hold on, y'all. That's, that's a big difference. All right, y'all. I got it set. Because I don't want to spark you, but I don't want to spark my tongue. You think I'd rather die. You got me misunderstood. Bro, for real, a million, million, million times better. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, that that really makes a difference. So, that's how you do the install on the amp on your uh, 2019 Hyundai Accent. Well, you could do it that way or you could find another way to do it. That's up to you. But uh, hopefully this video helped people out. Uh, even if you just want to install an amp and want to know how to do it. And also do your speaker wires and stuff. This will give you an idea on how to do it. I appreciate you guys watching this. Thumbs up if you like the video. And uh, keep it real, dudes.